I'll be showing Seeing AI. This is a free app that narrates the world around you. Designed for the blind and low vision community, this app harnesses the power of AI to open up the visual world and describe nearby people, text, and objects. So right now, I'll launch the Seeing AI app. Now there's a set of options along the bottom to be able to choose from. I have short text, document, product, person, currency, and others. I'll start with short text. This allows me to point my phone at any text like this. All out of fruits. And you can apples, point it and it'll bananas, read it out loud. Oranges. Now I'm going to switch document. to document. This allows me to take a photo of a page and then run OCR. So here's a paper here. Bottom left corner not I get visible. feedback on how to center. Hold steady. Processing. Takes a photo, this is, and now I can read this out loud. The study of Earth's landforms is called physical geography. So just take a photo of any piece of paper or a book. It runs OCR and it can read it out loud. At the bottom, I can make the fonts bigger or smaller just by tapping right there. So you can get a sense and it highlights the word as it reads it out loud. Next, we'll go to product. I'll click here. Product. Now I can hold my phone up to any UPC symbol like in a store. Process. Rich chocolate hot cocoa mix. Rich chocolate. And it'll quickly tell me exactly what product that is. Baking powder. So baking powder and hot chocolate. So this is really useful if you are wanting to be in a store or in your pantry like I am here and identify different products just by their UPC symbol. Now we'll go to person. Person. The person feature lets you take a photo and seeing AI will identify the person and the face and be able to give an estimate on the age and characteristics and description of that person. It's pretty amazing. Let's try it. Face near to yes. mic near center. Process. 49 year old man with gray hair looking happy. Hey, it's pretty close. I'm almost 49, but it allows you to take a picture of someone. I can save that photo. Now this works with currency as well. I've turned on the currency switch below and I can hold out different dollar types. Let's watch seeing AI. One US dollar. One dollar, let's try this one. Five US dollars. Five, okay, let's try this one. 20 US dollars. Wow, now there's a little flag here in the lower right, American flag, I click this, and I can change the currency. Let's try Canadian. Let's put our friend Elizabeth out here, see if Sing AI gets it. 20 Canadian dollars. Pretty good stuff. Next up, we'll try scene. And so if I click scene, scene. I can take a photo Preview. of a scene, and it can try and describe it based on AI. So we'll take a photo here. Processing. Probably a guitar next to a bookshelf. Pretty good. Let's try another one. Processing. A desk with a laptop computer sitting on top of a wooden table. Very nice. Let's try one more. Processing. A living room filled with furniture and a fireplace. Pretty nice. Okay, those are different scenes. You can do indoor or outdoor. Now we'll do color. So if I click on color, it will use the camera's lens and gauge what the color is. So let's click color. this. Color, brown and green. Green, brown, brown. So this will do color. So this is really nice brown to explore and gray. the colors of the area brown. with your phone. Handwriting, Next up, we're preview. gonna do handwriting. This is in preview. I can take a photo like this and it will use OCR immediately. Processing. This is my handwriting. And it will read it out loud. Pretty incredible. Lastly, we'll do light. Now this is useful if you want to understand and gauge how light or dark it is in a particular room. Now for the blind and low vision community, this can be very important. So I'll click on light. It will use tones to indicate lower tones for low light and higher tones for higher bright. So I'll click here. Light. So now it's going to get brighter as I point here. Upper left, you click settings and there's some options here. So I go to settings. I can configure Siri shortcuts, uh, haptic touch shortcuts. I can also do things with the voice. So if I want to select a different voice, I can go in here and the speed of the read aloud for the voice. So quite a few options you can configure in seeing AI when you go to the upper left. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.